We're following the latest developments in Joliet, where eight people died in a shooting spree Sunday. WGN's Julian Cruz reports with the latest on the investigation and what we now know about the victims. Good evening, Romeo Nance leading the FBI and U.S. Marshals on a cross-country manhunt before taking his own life Monday in Texas. Tonight, we're learning more about the alleged mass shooter's relationship with his victims, most of whom were members of his own family. I know the whole community is, is, is traumatized. Michael Mackin saddened about the news and the tragic loss of his neighbor, Toyoshi Bakari. I hope that his family you know, can heal from the, from the tragedy events. Mackin's hearing multiple gunshots Sunday at the Pheasant Run Apartments on Bradford Road. Will County Sheriff's deputies finding the 28-year-old Bakari with a gunshot wound to the head that would claim his life. Toyeshi, one of two random victims, investigators say, shot by the suspect, Romeo Nance. The second random victim suffering a non-life-threatening gunshot wound to the leg. Members of Nance's family not so fortunate. The 23-year-old gunman allegedly killing seven members of his own family Sunday afternoon on the 2200 block of West Acres Road, claiming the life of Tamika Nance, the 47-year-old mother, Christine Esther, a 38-year-old aunt, William Esters the second, the 35-year-old uncle, Joshua Nance, a 31-year-old brother, Alexandria Nance, a 20-year-old sister, Alana Nance, a 16-year-old sister, and the siblings, 14-year-old sister. Flowers and cards near the scene of the violence expressing the sorrow being felt tonight. Joliet Township High School heartbroken over the loss of 16-year-old student Alana Nance and graduate Alexandria Nance. Words cannot adequately express the sadness that we are feeling right now. They just cannot, says Principal Dr. Carla Guzman. The Joliet Township High School community is grieving this senseless loss, and our hearts are aching for Alana, Alexandria, their family, and all of our students and staff. Tonight in a written statement, the Illinois Department of Corrections grieving the loss of one of their own, Christine Esters, who worked at the Joliet Treatment Center since 2018. In Joliet, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Good morning. Today is Thursday. It is January 25th. The year is 2024. Um, sad video, sad news story. Family, uh, the whole family murdered a guy, 23-year-old, um, man goes on a rampage a bloody massacre kills his mother his uncle his aunt his brother and sisters um ranging in age from 47 down to 16 then kills somebody else across town i don't know who that was and then they finally catch up to him he kills himself you have to wonder what was going on in this crazy man's head when he went on this rampage and I'm willing, I'm willing to bet y'all a million bucks that this individual, that this person, this individual, his family members had known for years that this man was crazy. I had some very serious mental health issues. They either went undealt with, untreated, undiagnosed, I, 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 possibly diagnosed but not treated. You know how y'all, I know y'all feel about medication. Me and putting little Johnny on no pills, make him, you know, put that nigga on some pills. 23 years of age, then killed the whole family, everybody. What could be going on with this in this man's head that he had felt the need to kill everyone? I have some, a nephew that ain't too right in my family. You know, a couple of them ain't too right. Uh, my sister's youngest, one of my sister's youngest kids, man, he's in his 30s now. But that boy, he go off for no reason, constantly acting a fool. You can't say nothing to him. You can't say nothing to any of, to any of these guys, these kids these days, any damn way. I find that my nieces and nephews are very difficult to, to communicate with. Um, at least I, difficult for me to communicate with them. I don't know about other people. But he was demanding he needed a place to stay and he wanted to come stay over here with me. Demanding. I need to stay over here with you. No, you ain't coming over here, nigga. 
I couldn't allow that, that young man to come into this house because first off, his behavior is just so crazy that um, it would make no sense for me to open up my door and invite someone to my home that's going to create havoc. These rooms will sit empty before I do that. Every room in this bedroom in this house will sit empty before I allow somebody to come in here and drive me insane. Uh, my nephews are known for everybody got a gun, everybody got a weapon. Why everybody got a gun is what's going on. I don't know I, why everybody got to carry a gun and it got got a gun tucked in their pants. I have no clue. They can come here. You know, I, I can only deal with my family members on a limited basis because of the craziness that goes on. And I, I, I didn't bring these children into this world. You know. I didn't create this craziness. This man that killed all seven of his family members, uh, killed eight people and killed himself, I'm willing to bet y'all a million bucks for decades they knew this man was insane. His family members knew, his mamas knew, all everybody knew, little Johnny crazy. They knew. Maybe this, there was just no way to give him the help that he needed or the treatment that he needed. Maybe there was just no way to get him, you know. Maybe just no way to, who knows. Hard to figure that one out. It makes you wonder. Something's very wrong with these damn crazy people. And I need to find some way to disconnect this damn MacBook from this damn computer. I don't even know how I got connected. I might have to disconnect this. I might have to figure out something. And I don't know how it did this connected to this damn new MacBook. A bunch of crazy shit. Cause I did not want this thing connected to this. Anyway, we'll figure it out in a minute. This will be a little short video because this thing is acting crazy. And I just did a video and it shut down the video for this damn computer. This Mac, this my iPhone. For some reason, it's messing with this computer, and I need to learn how to disconnect this thing from this. This is my new MacBook. It should not be connected to this thing. But anyway, they, we need to have more mental health facilities to hold these people, not jails, facilities. But they need to, some, some of these people need to be put away in institutions, mental health institutions. We don't have those types of facilities anymore, not like they used to. Maybe they need to open them back up. Because clearly there's some crazy people out there. This What could have been going on that this man felt the need to kill his whole family? The new niggas can't come around. Y'all, I don't want these people around me. My family members with these guns and this violence and this ignorance and this drinking and these drugs. and You can't come over here. You just can't. I don't do drugs. I ain't got a bunch of guns. I ain't gang banging in the streets. I don't want that shit around me. Y'all... Keep that in I bet you that 23 year old boy was ripping running in the streets, probably been ripping and running in the streets since he was a teenager. I'm sure his mama couldn't control him. The daddy nowhere to be found. The nigga was fucking crazy. Probably facing all kinds of charges, going to jail. I can imagine the chaos and confusion that was going on in that household when this nigga grabbed up a gun and decided to delete and kill everybody. Now he dead. It just makes you wonder. What I mean, some people are just crazy. And clearly this man was one of these crazy people. But um I am gonna have to come back to revisit this video. Um I guess this is this computer is gonna be acting up in a minute because it's I don't know how when I set up this this computer, I don't know how this Mac it synced with my damn iPhone for some reason and I need to disconnect these two. They don't need to be attached. Let me work on this in the meanwhile I'll come back and we'll come back to this video. But let me stop this for now. Let me get this disconnected, figure out how to disconnect it. And I'll be back today is Thursday, January twenty fifth. Sorry for such a short video. But I won't be able to go further with this thing acting up like this. And I'm out of here and I'll speak to y'all later.